In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the missing VC runtime 140.dll error message. So I'm actually going to show you two different ways to fix this. And the first method is just by heading over to an internet browser. And from the search box, you want to type in VC runtime 140.dll space download and hit enter. Then you want to scroll down until you see this website www.dll-files.com and click on this. And then we can just scroll down the page until you see the download section. Now you'll notice that there's two different versions we can download, a 64-bit version or a 32-bit version. Now this depends on what operating system you have installed to your computer. Now if you're not sure, just head over to your start menu, search for system information, and then underneath system type, you'll either see x64 or x32. Now if you have 64, then make sure to download the 64-bit version, and if you have 32, then make sure to install the 32-bit version. For me and my computer, I have 64-bit, so I'm going to click on this download over here and then just wait a couple of seconds while that goes into your download folder and then that should download as a zip file like so. So once this is finished downloading you need to head over to the downloads folder on your computer and then we're going to right click on this zip file that we just downloaded and select extract all. Then click on extract and that should go and open a folder with this file vc runtime and from here we're just going to right click on this file click on the copy icon at the top then head over to your c drive from the left hand side scroll all the way down and double click on windows scroll down again until you see system 32 and double click on this and now somewhere in this white space we're going to right click and then just select the paste icon to paste this file if you get this message pop up just press replace the file in the destination and press continue now if you get this message pop up saying that the folder is already in use you may need to restart your computer make sure not to open up any applications and then you can try coming back to here and copying the file over so once you've pasted your file in this system 32 folder if you're using a 32-bit version computer then that's all the steps you need to do and that should have now solved your error message if you're using a 64-bit computer like myself and you downloaded the 64-bit file and what you need to do is come back out of this folder scroll down until you see syswow64 and double click this and once again just right click somewhere in this white space and press the paste icon then press replace the file in the destination and once again press continue so once you've done that that should have now solved any missing error message you were getting. The second method we can use to fix this if that's not working is to head over to your start menu and just search for settings and then click on the settings window. From the left hand side select apps, click on installed apps and then using the search box type in C++ and hit enter. Now what we're going to do from here is find the Microsoft Visual C++ x64 version, click on these three horizontal dots and select uninstall. Then click on uninstall again and you should get this window pop up and from here we can press repair. Then just give that a few seconds while it repairs all of your missing files and folders and once that's completed you'll also want to do the same for the x86 version just by clicking these three horizontal dots and once again pressing uninstall and then clicking on repair once again now if you don't even see the microsoft visual c++ on your applications here that's probably because you don't have them installed on your computer so what you can do if that's the case is just head over to this microsoft website here if you scroll down the page you'll have two download links one for x86 and one for x64 now you need to make sure you download and run both of these and that will install the necessary files to your computer i'll also leave a link to this in the video description and it's as simple as that guys that's how you fix the missing file in windows 11 if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one